I will just first of all be reading a prepared statement and uh, thereafter uh, some technical details will be explained to you about the incident that we are talking about. Uh, and after that, uh, if, if there, there are any questions, questions we will be uh, taking them on. On 9th of March 2022, at 18.43 hours, that is 6.43 p.m., a high-speed flying object was picked up inside Indian territory by Air Defense Operations Center of Pakistan Air Force. From its initial course, the object suddenly maneuvered towards Pakistani territory and violated Pakistan's airspace, ultimately falling near Mia Chanu at 1850 yards. That is, six, falling near Mia Chanu at 1850 yards. That is 650 p.m. And when it fell, it also damaged some civilian property. Thankfully, no loss or injury to, to human life was caused. Pakistan Air Force continuously monitored the complete flight path of the flying object from its point of origin near Sirsa in India till its point of impact near Miyajanu. And Pakistan Air Force initiated requisite tactical actions in accordance with the SOPs. It is important to highlight that flight path of this object endangered many international and domestic passenger flights both in Indian and Pakistani airspace as well as human life and property on ground. <coughs> Whatever caused this incident to happen, it is for the Indians to explain. It nevertheless shows their disregard for aviation safety and reflects very poorly on their technological prowess and procedural efficiency. The incident could have resulted in a major aviation disaster as well as civilian casualties on ground. Pakistan strongly protests this flagrant violation and cautions against recurrence of any such incident in the future. Now, I would like to call upon Air Vice Marshal Tariq Zia to explain the technical details of the incident. Sir. Uh, I go over the details of uh, the incident uh, which happened yesterday. During our uh, routine surveillance uh, yesterday on the 9th of March at 1843 hours, we picked up a uh, high speed object close to Silsa. The initial pickup was uh, 104 kilometers inside the Indian uh, territory from the closest part of the international border. This object was picked up at high altitude, which was around 40,000 feet, and it was traveling at uh, speed in excess of Mark 2.5 and ultimately ending up at Mark 3. The initial uh, course of this projectile was on the southwestern heading, and it, was, it appeared to initially go towards the Mahajan field firing ranges, which is southwest of Suratgarh at this place. However, once it had traveled around 70 to 80 kilometers on this heading, it took a right track change while maintaining the same altitude and speeds and started to head it to head northwest towards the Pakistani airspace. Pakistan Air Force uh, air defense system had a solid and continuous tracking of this uh, projectile right from its first pickup till it faded out and I'll talk about it a little later. So uh, on the northwestern heading, 
this track crossed the international border into Pakistan, crossed over close to Allahabad, south of Bawalpur, on the same parameters, and ultimately it faded out at a time of 1850 Pakistan Standard Time, close to uh, near Janu. Total distance that we traveled inside Pakistan was 124 kilometers. Total time from pickup till its uh, impact on the ground was 6 minutes and 46 seconds. However, the time that it stayed in Pakistani territory was 3 minutes and 44 seconds. While we have uh, recovered the debris and we have done, uh, we are continuously uh, doing the forensic uh, analysis of this uh, object, uh, we can so far deduce that it was a supersonic uh, missile, an unarmed missile, and it was launched from the ground. So it was a surface to surface missile. Uh, details are yet to come, and we were certain the type uh, subsequent. Thank you, thank you very much. <coughs> If there are any questions, we'd like to take them. It was it a planned activity or it was uh, somehow inadvertently uh, uh, entered into Pakistan, it was a deliberated act as well they protested strongly. And second thing is that this kind of thing will be in Hindustan ki jane se pehle past mein bade shiyale gays ke anaat aate hai, mere ki leadership se, critical leadership se. So, aap kya samajhte hai, aapko ye milaye ka ge hai, future hai humari, is this kind of thing will be in Hindustan ki jane se mukabla kya ge hai. Dusra, agar aap jaze te hai, critical situation that national defense ke saath juri bhi hai. So, Prime Minister Imran Khan sahab kehte hai, ye pohj mere saath hai. So, now, this will be your update. Case military is with the Prime Minister. Thank you. May I uh, limit myself to this uh, particular topic right now? Just a minute, in my statement, I have told you that whatever caused this incident, it is for India to explain. Uh, being a responsible nation, Hamish Kupar Koi Kishi Kishan Ki. There is a lot of explanation that needs to be done. Uh, our own uh, detailed inquiry is going on. We are still looking into things, forensics are going on. We have shared details with you. Just like AVM said, it was a supersonic uh, flying object, most probably a missile, but it was certainly unarmed. It was certainly unarmed. Uh, so whatever has caused this, we will wait for an explanation from the Indian side. That is uh, where I will stop right now. Uh, as far as our preparations are, as you have told Marshal Sahib, that right from its point of origin, this uh, Pakistan International, India International Borders is 100 kilometers under the India, but we have picked it right from the start. We continuously kept monitoring, and the moment it started uh, taking a turn towards the uh, Pakistani territory, usi vakat jo bhi humare tactical or technical actions the SOPs ke mutabik wo in place ho gaye the. Total jo uska uh, time tha jo ye Pakistani territory ke andar raha, wo three minute or takriban twenty second tha. Aur us dooran jo jo actions karne the wo ho gaye the. We exactly knew the point of impact. Usse thodi der baad. जो करीब तीन हमारी जो मिलिट्री फॉर्मेशन था उसकी फोर्सेस वहां पे पहुंच गई और उसके बाद जो फर्दर इसको रिट्रीव किया गया और फिर एयर फोर्स ने इसको आगे टेक ओवर कर लिया सो एक्शंस रिस्पांस एवरीथिंग अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इट वाज परफेक्ट वी डिटेक्टेड इट ऑन टाइम एंड वी कुड टेक केयर ऑफ दैट आपने जो आखिर में बात की मैं I was not expecting that this kind of thing will be talked about. I have clarified this in the last of my press conference that there is no need to take from the government. And it is such a thing. And it is such a thing. And it is such a thing. And I would again request that it is not necessarily speculated. And it is not necessarily speculated. And it is not necessarily speculated.
کسی قسم کی انسری ڈسکشنس کی جائیں وہی ہمارے سب کے لیے اچھا ہے نوٹ لائک ٹو کامنٹ آن دس اینی مور تھینک یو اینی ادر کوشچن ریلیٹڈ ٹو دس جی میں جس طرح آپ کو بتایا کہ الحمد للہ کوئی ہیومن کیجولٹیز نہیں ہوئی ہیں آن گراؤنڈ جہاں پہ اس کا امپیکٹ ہوا وہاں پہ قریب ایک جو بلڈنگ تھی اس کی ایک دیوار ڈیمیج ہوئی آپ کو آئی تھنک کچھ پکچرز بھی دکھائیں گی اس کا ڈیبری پڑا ہوا اور ساتھ یہ اس کا آپ کا کریٹر دیکھ سکتے ہیں اور سامنے ایک دیوار گیری ہوئی نظر آ لیے دیٹ از آل دیٹ از ہیپن آن گراؤنڈ ڈی ایم اوز لیول پہ ایسا کوئی رابطہ نہیں ہوا کوئی اس طرح کی انفارمیشن ادھر سے نہیں آئی دیٹ از وائی جیسا میں نے کہا کہ ہم نے اپنے طور پہ جو ابھی تک وٹ ایور آر فائنڈنگس آر آنٹل ناؤ وہ میں نے آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کی ہیں اینڈ اس کے بعد فارن آفس اپنے پروسیجر کے تحت جو بھی ایکسپلینیشن ہے وہ سیکھ کرے گا تھرو انڈین اتھارٹیز جی جی میں نے جیسے آپ سے شیئر کیا کہ رائٹ فرام اسٹارٹ ہم نے اس کو ڈیٹیکٹ کر لیا تھا اینڈ وی وڈ ایبسولوٹلی مانیٹرنگ دا فلائٹ پاتھ آف دس تھنگ اور کوئی ایسی سینسٹیو انسولیشن سیریا میں ایسی نہیں تھی جہاں بھی جا کے گرا ہے دیٹ شوڈ بی این آف آئی تھنک جو آپ نے بات کی دیکھیے میں آپ کی پہلی والی جو کوشچن ہے انہوں نے آئی تھنک ایک جنرل بات کی ہے میں اس کے اوپر کامنٹ نہیں کرنا چاہوں گا آئی ایم شیور ایز فار ایز جو سی بی کی بات ہے جو انسیڈنٹس ہوئے ہیں ریسنٹلی ان میں ایک تھوڑی سی آپ ٹک آئی ہے بٹ آپ نے ہم ساتھ ساتھ شیئر بھی کر رہے ہیں کہ پچھلے چند ہفتوں میں ہم نے تقریباً آج کے اگر میں شامل کروں جو چار ٹیرسٹ آج مارے ہیں اسی ٹیرسٹ کو ہم مار چکے ہیں پچھلے چند ہفتوں میں جتنے فکر میں نے آپ کے ساتھ 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 شیئر کی ہیں سو اس کی وجوہات میں ایک دفعہ پہلے بھی آپ سے شیئر کر چکا ہوں کیونکہ ہمارے ہمسایہ ملک میں اس وقت ایک جب ودڈرال ہوا ہے یو ایس فورسز کا ایک ویکیوم آیا ہے اس میں کچھ ایسی شرح پسند ناصر ایسی ٹیرسٹ آرگنیزیشنز وہاں پہ بیٹھی ہوئی تھی جن کو ابھی کنٹرول کرنے میں ان کو ٹائم لگے گا سو یہ ایک آپ ٹیک آئی تھی بٹ الحمد للہ وی آر ویل ان کنٹرول اینڈ وی آر ٹیکنگ کیئر آف دیٹ اور جن لوگوں نے یہ انسیڈنٹس کیے ہیں ہم ود ان ڈیز ان تک پہنچ رہے ہیں اور ان کو الیمنیٹ کر رہے ہیں اینڈ ویری سون ان شاء اللہ یہ تھوڑے بہت انسیڈنٹس کے اندر ایک انکریز آئی ہے یہ سیٹل ہو جائے گی جو میزائل یا ویپن سسٹم ہوتے ہیں ان کے ٹیسٹ اینڈ ٹرائلس چلتے رہتے ہیں یہ کیا تھا میں اس کے بارے میں وی آر ناٹ شور جیسے میں نے کہا کہ اس کو ایکسپلین انڈیا نہیں کرنا ہے 
بٹ اس یہ دو چیزوں کو بڑا واضح بیان کرتا ہے ایک تو ان کی جو بھی ٹیمز ہیں جو بھی ہیومن ریسورس ہے جو اس طرح کی ہائی ٹیک چیزوں کو دیکھ رہی ہے ان کی پروفیشنل پروس کو ظاہر کرتا ہے کہ وہ کیا ہے کافی بڑا سوال یہ نشان ہے اس کے اوپر اور دوسرا یہ ان کی ٹیکنالوجی جو ہے اس کے اوپر بھی بہت بڑا سوال یہ نشان ہے کہ اس ٹیکنالوجی میں کافی کمی ہے میرے خیال میں اور اس کو مزید ان کے اوپر ان کو کافی کام کرنا پڑے گا اپنی ٹیکنالوجی کو امپروو کرنے میں سو میں اس کو تھوڑا سا اس تناظر میں دیکھوں گا باقی ستائی سروس سے لنک کرنا یا کسی اور جیسے جیسے میں نے کہا کہ وی ایس ایل انویسٹیگیٹنگ اینڈ اس کے اوپر مزید کچھ سوالات کے جوابات جب آئیں گے تو وہ بھی آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کریں گے سلمان
اگر ہوا میں تھا ڈیٹیکٹ ہوا رائٹ ایٹ دا اسٹارٹ ہوا سو دس شو ٹیل یو کہ کوئی ڈلیبریٹلی یا انڈورٹنٹلی کچھ بھی پاکستان کی ٹیریٹری پاکستان کی سوبرینٹی پاکستان کی ایئر اسپیس کی طرف کچھ بھی ہوتا ہے تو وی آر دیر وی آر الرٹ ٹو اٹ وی آر ایبسلوٹلی پریپیئرڈ اینڈ الحمد للہ نتھنگ مسز آر واچ when we uh, have a uh, clear indication that S-400 is there uh, are in our neighbor in Pokhran, uh, there are exercises that is the center of uh, Indian military exercises most probably, uh, particularly regarding Air Force and their military. So when a projectile uh, of such kind uh, comes to Pakistan, and uh, uh, do you think that uh, this irresponsible behavior of uh, in, in East Uh, uh, would not only uh, very dangerous uh, for Pakistan but also for the neighboring countries, number one. And the second is that our uh, two of the very important strategic bases, uh, uh, Bulari and uh, uh, BF base uh, Rafiki, uh, they, these are uh, right at our uh, eastern border. And uh, the projectile which was fell in Niyajan, that was very much nearer to BF base Rafiki. So how do you see that aspect because uh, might be, uh, there would be something uh, to deliberately uh, 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 send that projectile into Pakistan to assess our defenses and also to assess the strategic capability of Pakistan. Thank you, sir. As I, as I told you, uh, <coughs> we are not uh, claiming anything right now. Uh, like a responsible nation, Uh, as uh, we've already done this before, done this before uh, we will wait for them to respond. As I said, uh, whatever has happened, we have given the details of what has happened, what, whatever we know of right now, but uh, it is for the Indians to explain what happened. Uh, as far as uh, the safety and security of our installations, Uh, in these areas are concerned, is concerned. Uh, as I said, uh, whatever procedures were to start, whatever tactical actions had to be taken, they were taken. Whenever there are any movements uh, across the border, uh, may those be training movements, may those be operational movements, we are keeping a very close watch and uh, our safeguards are always in place and as I said uh, we don't miss any signs and thankfully uh, we've been up to the task, our armed forces, our air force, our navy, our army, uh, everybody uh, is alert and alive to the threat that we face and the challenges that we face. Thank you. Sir, this is the first question that this report has been done. ایک سوال یہ اٹھا کہ واز اٹ اٹ واز بین کیریڈ ان ٹو دی پاکستانی ایئر اسپیس اور اٹ واز لانچ فرام دی انجن سائڈ اور اگر یہ کیریڈ تھا یو اے ای کا اس میں ذکر آیا تھا کہ ان مین اے ریئل ویکل ہو سکتا ہے اس کو کیری کر رہا تھا تو دیر واز اے کنفیوژن لائک اٹ واز کیریڈ بائی سم تھنگ اور اٹ واز واچ بائی سم تھنگ اینڈ اٹ واز نٹ کیریڈ بائی سم تھنگ اٹ واز لانچ فرام دا سرفیس And uh, that is what uh, I have just told you. Uh, it wasn't being carried by UAV or anything. And so, very quickly, uh, second part of this, uh, our air defense system, uh, since we know that on the other side, uh, they have recently installed batteries of S-400. And uh, from the Indian side, when the Prime Minister was in Russia, there was a debate going on that uh, probably Prime Minister of Pakistan was in discussion Uh, of acquiring uh, from Russia, acquiring this S-400 system or S-230 
uh, fighter aircraft in there. So, uh, was it uh, a kind of measure to uh, gauge our air defense system by doing this? Or what will be our course of action next time? Are we not, not just countering it, not just tracking it, but we uh, respond to such things like we did on 27th of February? Actually, uh, there are a lot of uh, measures already in place and the measures in place uh, in times of war or in times of an escalation are different and in, in peace time are different. So uh, the environment uh, is not such that uh, this environment may be a kind of reaction but as I, as I told you that we were very clear that uh, uh, this is an object and this direction is coming from the speed of the site and where it is going to go. So uh, whatever responses were required, they were already initiated and uh, they were well in place. Uh, and uh, in the future, we have said weapon systems uh, across, hain, we are very well aware of that. And what is our fault? That is our fault, Alhamdulillah. और, uh, Acquisition और ये सारी चीजें मैं इसकी डिटेल में नहीं जाऊंगा ये आई थिंक इट इज टू ओनली टू से एनीथिंग अबाउट दैट बट एक्विजिशन चलती रहती है वी कंटीन्यूअसली मॉडर्नाइज मॉडर्नाइजिंग आर आर इन्वेंटरी इन ऑल द आर्म सर्विसेज एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द ऑफ द डे इंडिया ने इंटरनेशनल मॉडल की वैलिडेशन की है क्या हमने अपने दोस्त मुमाले के तहाती मुमाले को रखवाल में उपलब्धता में शिकायत भेजती है या भी हम प्रोसेस में हैं मामले में बाहर के फॉरेन ऑफिस फॉरेन ऑफिस को ये सारी डिटेल्स दे दी गई हैं एंड दे विल बी टेकिंग इट अप एट द रेक्वेस्ट ले� जिस जिस लेवल पे जो भी जहाँ पे भी उन्होंने इसके ऊपर बात करनी है वो करेंगे इंशाल्लाह मार गिराया वाली जो आप बात करें जैसे मैंने कहा कि ये ऑब्जेक्ट खुद गिराया है खुद गिराया है but we we will tracking it and we will very well aware के ये किस तरह की चीजें जा रही हैं I think that should be all sir I would request the VM director just to explain the similar traffic loop for the last time that is that is something that is very important and I would like you to see for yourself कि ये कितना इंडेंजर किया है इस इसने कि इसका फ्लाइट पाथ क्या था और इसके साथ जो इंटरनेशनल ट्रैफिक थी ए ट्रैफिक वो क्या थी जिस वक्त ये जहाज जिस वक्त ये प्रोजेक्टाइल पेक हुआ है उस वक्त दो एयरवेल लाउंड्स फ्लाइट्स के एक्टिव थे अगर हम इसके पॉइंट ऑफ ऑरिजिन को देखें तो उससे 78 किलोमीटर के डिस्टेंस के ऊपर इस तरह वेरी बिजी रूट जिसके ऊपर जहाज कमर्शियल असेंजर्स फ्लाइट्स चल रही थी जिसमें इंटरनेशनल कैरियर्स भी थे कतर एयरवेज सऊदी एयरवेज इंडियन एयरलाइंस के भी जहाज थे एंड दे वर इन द ईस्ट वेस्ट डायरेक्शन जब ये पाकिस्तानी एयरस्पेस में प्रोजेक्टाइल दाखिल हुआ है तो उस वक्त ये एक एयरवे राउंड है जो के लाहौर कराची और इस्लामाबाद इनके दरमियान करता है और ये भी इंटरनेशनल फ्लाइट है और इस वक्त इसमें भी एक इंटरनेशनल फ्लाइट और तीन डोमेस्टिक फ्लाइट्स ऑपरेट कर रही हैं। अगर आप इसके प्रोजेक्टाइल की स्पीड को मध्य नजर रखें और हाइट को मध्य नजर रखें, तो 40,000 फीट की बुलंदी के ऊपर ये प तीस पैंतीस हजार से उत्तालीस बयालीस हजार फुट की बुलंदी पे प्रवास कर रहे और जितनी एक इसकी स्पीड है मार्क थ्री के ऊपर उसके हिसाब से सेवेंटी एट किलोमीटर का डिस्टेंस इधर और इधर सिक्सटी किलोमीटर का डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस एरिया राउंड इस गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी डेटरमेंटल टू द सेफ्टी ऑफ दिस पैसेंजर एंड कमर्श which again uh, points to what the DGSPR has said about the uh, disregard of uh, disregard of concerns and prerequisites and safeguards for the safety of these international. Uh, 
بھارت کی مہاجر میں سے سورگر انڈیا سے